Hey, how's it going? Big Yumbo here. I am back in California, Sacramento, California, back in my cave. I uh, packed up some junk here. I have about 50 or 60 items to go to the post office. I know it's at least 50 because I went through an entire pack of poly mailers. So I took a little vacation for a whole week, which is this gap in the sales. Turned on my, uh, because you can have vacation mode on and then turn sales on at the same time. So I turned that back on. We had one, two, three, four, four days of decent sales. As soon as I turned vacation mode off entirely, eBay gave me a ton of traffic. I had a $640 sale day yesterday, which is pretty big for me. I usually only get one of those a month. Um, I think the highest sales day I ever had was like $850. When I was dropping off my stuff in there, I stubbed my toe because I'm wearing these and it split my toenail completely in half and it really hurt. All right, so I'll show you my little daily routine I have, which I don't do every day. Well, I do the post office part every day, but here is the ideal routine. First off, you hit the post office. You never leave this parking lot. So we got the post office. We got the UPS if you need it. I don't go there, I hate UPS. I don't like the color brown. Right, you gotta deal with the beeping for a minute because I only got one hand. Then, you've got Subway. Oh, donut stop. I've never been to the donut stop, but looks pretty good. When I used to do retail arbitrage, I'd go to Ross. If you need a little energy drink or a big bottle of water, stop here at the grocery outlet bargain market. And then last but not least, you hit the glorious Goodwill. Woo! This is my favorite Goodwill. All right, I'm in the thrift store. Just cleared out the men's section. And the shoe section. And I'm gonna look up a sold comp for you because I've been asked to do that. All right, these are called Tropical Feel Monsoon. These are new for me, I've never seen them before. And they are $10. And they are a size 44. So first I type it in, tropical feel. And I think the model is monsoon. And then the size is 44. Search. I don't see anything. So we're gonna go to sold items. And we have nothing. So that's not great. Let's take out the size and see if we can find anything. Tropical feel monsoon search. Nothing. Oh no, it's tropic feel. Okay. I made the mistake. Maybe one word. Here we go. So none listed. Two sold. So if it was one listed and two sold, it'd be a 200% sell through rate. So zero listed. I'm gonna buy these basically. Um, so if it was one listed and two sold, it'd be a 200% sell through rate. Um, Cause twice as many sell as are listed. In this case, it's even better than that because there's zero listed and two sold. And that is the exact same size as mine. Now we can look at the sell through rate if we don't have the size. So let's go back to just without the size. And if you go to condition, it's gonna show six new are listed and five used are listed. So then we go back, we scroll down to sold items. Now we go to condition again. It's gonna show two new are listed and 11, or sorry, two new are sold and 11 used are sold. And I think I said six were listed, so that's like 200%. Yeah, so basically 200% sell through rate. All right, so I got these Adidas Terex 260 shoes. So first we'll look up Adidas Terex. 
never seen it before. And just look up with a self through it for that. I don't even look at the price really. So there's 352 listed. Now we're gonna go to sold. Click on condition. 441 uh, sold. So I think I said 300 were listed. So that's like 100. I gotta look at that again. That's pretty good. Adidas Terex. I have a terrible memory with numbers. 356 listed. Four hundred and forty-one sold. Pretty good. So now we're going to be more specific. These are the two hundred and sixty, and they are a men's eight and a half. Whew! Prices look good on the sold. So there's three sold, and we're going to go back and see how many are listed. Two listed. So three sold, two listed. That's 150%, I believe. I believe you would go three divided by two would give you 1.5. But yeah. So over 100%, and the prices look good. I'm going to get them because these are $9.20. How's it going? Back in my apartment. It is a couple days later. Sorry about that. So you may have noticed back at the thrift store that I didn't use the art number. When I was looking up the shoes, or the style code, it's also called. Um, when you're looking up the sell-through rate, you really shouldn't because not all sellers are going to add that in. And it will limit your search results. You want as much information as possible when you're looking it up. So as many listings as possible to get an accurate sell-through. It's like when they're doing you know, science experiments. If you test something on a million people, the real results are going to be more accurate than 100 people. But when you're listing shoes, I would use the style code or art number because maybe someone's out in the Nike outlet and they see a pair of shoes for 80 bucks and they go on eBay or they go on Google and they type in the style code and then maybe your listing will pop up in the search results and they'll be like, oh, I can get it for 30 bucks or 20 bucks used. So if you have room in your title, I would, but I don't think it's that helpful. I don't know how many people actually type it in when they're searching for new shoes. Um, in general, the sell through rate is not an exact science. It does work though. My sales have gone up quite a bit, especially in the clothing and shoes category where people complain a lot of times that clothing is a slow seller. Well, it's really not if you just buy the right clothing. In my area, it's really hard to find items that sell for like 75 or more. But because I use sell through rate, I can find 20 items a day easily that have like a 10 to $15 profit that are gonna sell within a month or two. Every single day I sell over 15 items. My sales are way more consistent than they used to be. Cause you might find a $100 item that sells, you know, once every three months and there's 50 of them listed. That might never sell. You could be out searching all day for that item. So volume is also really important. Um, you saw I got that one pair of Tropic Feel shoes. There was, for that size and model, there was only two sold over the last three months. So with such a small like sample size, only two over three months, I really don't know exactly when they're gonna sell. But I know they should sell because there's zero listed and two sold in that three months. So you still can wait quite a bit. But if there was a higher volume, like say it was, say it was even like three listed and six sold. So similar sell through rate, I still think I'd be twice as likely, I would be twice as likely to sell it within these three months. Just because there's more selling and there's more people looking for it. It's best to find items that sell a couple times a day. Like even though North Face doesn't have a high sell through rate for most of the categories, it still has a super high volume. If it has a lower sell through rate and a high volume, I'll still pick it up. I just have to be a lot more competitive. So I have to price at the bottom of the market. I actually got a question from a viewer. Um, I think her name is Lauren. She was saying that she 
I think she's a new reseller. She was saying that she's getting advice from these YouTubers and buying stuff that they recommend and that because of YouTube, the market is saturated for like, every time a YouTuber recommends something, everybody goes out and buys it. I wouldn't buy anything that a YouTuber recommends unless you check the sell through rate and it's good. So in her case, she bought this, I think it was called a Space Saver can opener. And she says she got it for dirt cheap and she's just sitting on it. Now, let's look into that item. All right, let's look up Space Saver can opener. Space Saver one word. All right, and we're gonna do that same process. I'm on the iPad, so it's gonna look a little different than on an iPhone, but it's pretty similar. It's a pretty similar layout. All right, let's go to condition. And it looks like new, we have 76 and used 114. I'm not sure if hers is new or used, but we'll look at the sell through rate for both. So now we're gonna go down to filter by sold items. And we're gonna go back up to condition. All right, so new. Actually, the sell-through rate's pretty good on new. Used, it's about a 50%. So I'm hoping hers is new. Let's look around at the prices. Now, I don't know if it's a GE or a Black & Decker. I guess she didn't give me quite enough information. Let's say it's a Black & Decker. So we have 35 new listed and 66 used. So if it is Black & Decker, it has a really good sell through rate new. Uh, 35 listed, 71 sold. So if she has it priced correctly, Let's look at, with newer items, you're gonna wanna price it at the bottom of the market because there's nothing distinguishing your item from anyone else's. So let's look at lowest price. This, and we're gonna sort by new. Ugh. We're gonna sort by condition. All right, so the bottom of the market is about 65 free shipping. If I was Lauren, I'd probably price it at 50 free shipping and just turn off, make an offer and just wait. And it should be the next one to sell. Um, let's see. Well, we really have to look at the bottom of the market for what's listed, so. Okay, so for what's listed, this person is doing an auction, so we're not gonna count that. Um, these are open box, but that's still new. Okay, so this one's gonna be about 65 after the shipping. So yeah, maybe price it at $60 free shipping. And it should be, there's no reason it won't be the next one to sell. I personally wouldn't buy, this looks like a bigger item. I personally wouldn't buy something big like this. I don't really buy anything anymore that doesn't ship in a poly bag because it's flat rate if you use a 12 by 15 poly bag. It's gonna ship for under $10 no matter what's in there if you use pirate ship. Um, so I'll even like, when I do ship something in a box, I'll put it in the box, wrap bubble wrap around it, and then put it in the poly bag. And this might fit in a 12 by 15. I can't really tell how big it is, but it looks like a bigger item. So doing free shipping on that can be a little tricky if you can't get it flat right. Um, let's pretend she's doing a used Space Saver can opener now. So condition used. Let's look at the sell through rate real quick. So there's 66 used listed. Now we're gonna go to sold. 
41. So that's two thirds, so that's about a 66% sub the rate. If hers is used, that's not really great. Um, let's look at the bottom of the market. Lowest price, okay, so yeah. Um, they're selling for about 34 free shipping used. So if she wants hers to sell, she's gonna have to price it at I would do it $30 free shipping and then turn off, make an offer and then just wait and it should sell. So yeah, I really don't understand why hers isn't selling if it isn't priced right. The sell through rate isn't that bad if that is a Black & Decker one. I saw there is GE ones as well. I suppose we can look at that. Sorry if this is boring to anyone that's not Lauren. Okay, oof. These are a lot cheaper. So two newer listed and 11 used. That could be good if there's a lot sold. Okay, new, it has a really good sell through rate, 400%. Two, um, it has about a 20% sell through rate if it's used. All right, so let's hope hers is new and then she could price it at about, uh, Looks like 50 free shipping maybe. And it should sell pretty quickly, but, cause there's not that many listed and there's, you know, there's enough sold. So I think maybe her problem is the pricing. The sell through rate isn't horrible unless it's a used GE one, which is what I'm seeing here pretty much trash. Hope this video is informative or entertaining or something. And I'll see you in the next one.